Hi, Laura. Are you ready to get started? I'm absolutely ready to get started. Great. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight for our webinar. Hopefully, you can all hear me okay. Uh, welcome to our virtual event. Uh, my name is Noam Mepp, and I'm the franchise partner for Expedia Cruises in Scottsdale. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Expedia, and then my friend Laura from Princess is going to tell you a little bit about how Princess is planning to relaunch service later this year and about their amazing product and destinations. And then I'm going to tell you about our sale that we have coming up at the end of this week that you'll definitely want to take advantage of. So I will get started. And like I mentioned, I'm with Expedia Cruises. Uh, we are a, a brick and mortar retail location travel agency, and we can help you with all aspects of your leisure travel plans, whether it's air, land, or sea vacations. And sea vacations is our specialty and what we're here to talk about tonight, but we can arrange for you all sorts of travel, whether it be an all-inclusive, a motor coach tour, and then all the accessories and goodies that go along with your cruise vacation, uh, whether it's travel insurance, flights, hotels, excursions, transfers, we can help manage all those details in the way that you want to work with us, whether it be in person here in our store where I'm at today, over the phone or over email, we can help you however you're most comfortable and however best seats, suits your needs. We are here to provide you personalized service uh, but we are backed by the number one brand in travel, which is Expedia. And uh, part of our brand promise to our customers is to give you uh, expert advice throughout your travel planning process and while you're traveling and, and give you service throughout that whole experience to give you the best choices and the best prices, especially when it comes to cruises uh, across all the cruise lines out there, including our treasured partner, Princess. Expedia Extras, whether it's an onboard credit, which we'll talk about later in this presentation, or our exclusive stateroom groups. Uh, almost all the cruises we sell and many of the vacation packages come with Expedia Extras that you get when you book with us that you don't even get when you call the cruise lines directly. More than cruises, like I mentioned, and the fact that we're always here to help you throughout the process, even making sure if things don't go exactly according to plan, we help you with recovering and, and deal with any uh, glitches or bumps that might come along the way. Our location here is in Scottsdale on Frank Lloyd Wright Boulevard. We've been open almost six years. Uh, it'll be six years come December. We have fantastic online reviews and feedback from our customers. In fact, most of them come back to us again and again for their travel plans. And it is our vision to be the greatest, uh, the best travel agency in the greater Phoenix market. And there you can see our address and phone number. It's not just me here. I have over two dozen vacation consultants and they're here to provide you that incredible service and be your advocates and advisors throughout your travel planning uh, process. They're passionate about travel, they're passionate about cruises. And it's important to note our agency is certified as a Princess Commodore agency, which means we've taken the advanced training and are very familiar with Princess and know the product and the destinations in and out. But it's not just that we've taken some online training, it's that we are actually Princess customers ourselves. And you can see uh, whether it's Alaska, the Caribbean, Mexico, or in Europe, uh, many of our consultants on our team, including myself, have traveled more than once on Princess, and we're very familiar and enthusiastic about the Princess brand. So now that my little intro commercial is finished, I'm going to throw it over to Laura at uh, Princess, and she's going to tell you a little bit about what's going on with them, and then I'll be back uh, at the end to tell you about the offers that we have for you. So I'm going to take my, my video uh, and audio off while Laura is talking. And so take it away, Laura. Hi, thank you so much, Noam, for that nice introduction. And Princess loves Expedia and you especially as well. Um, I can't endorse more what you said about your agency. It's all true. And you're one of the most fantastic partners that we work with. So thank you for that. So I'm just going to get go ahead and get started. Um, health and safety standards for cruising, I think, might be on some of our minds right now, especially during this time. And um, First of all, know that Princess has always um, made health and safety for our guests, for our crew, and the places we visit a top priority. Now, of course, during this time of uh, concern with as related to COVID-19, we've had to implement a plan that was put in place yesterday by CLIA 
our president, Jan Swartz, is on the board. And in conjunction with them, this plan was submitted to the CDC as a draft proposal of best practices to get back to cruising in North America, in the Americas. So we're very optimistic that this is a good solid step because it's an industry-wide protocol that we are all committing to. Um, in a nutshell, there will be 100% testing of all passengers and crew prior to embarkation. We're really stepping up the sanitation um, and using more advanced technologies to um, keep everything clean and uh, safe for those on the ship. And then as far as our guest experiences are, we are implementing physical distancing where we can and um, and there will also be the wearing of masks. That was part of the um, proposal. So this is to keep us all safe. Um, if you're traveling with your own little group and companions, uh, that in your own stateroom, you know, that's another story. We can go ahead, yeah. So um, as part of that, there is increased training so that the crew has um, all the capabilities that they can to keep everybody safe, including themselves. Our HEPA filtration systems are being elevated. This is going to um, enhance the fresh air distribution in their public spaces. And then we're going to monitor any outbreaks or any disease activity, and we're going to adjust our itineraries as needed. So we feel all of these things in place will help keep us all safe when we cruise. And a benefit that our guests have and being on a princess ship is that we are um, have a, a technology called medallion class. I'm wearing my little medallion here. This is a, a tool that synchronizes with technology on the ship that enables the cruise experience to be seamless and more personalized. But it's not just about the technology, it's about the things that it helps us do to give back more time and a better experience so that you're cruising the way that you want to cruise. So we have a contactless embarkation, which is great for this um, physical distancing that we're, we're needing to implement. We have um, on-demand delivery. So anywhere you may be on the ship, whether you want food or beverage, or you forgot your sunscreen or your, your sunglasses, um, or you want a service, we can have it brought to you. Um, and of course, with physical distancing. It's a great uh, tool to find the people that you're cruising with, your, your companions and kids and, and you know, members of your own group, traveling party and group. We have keyless stateroom entry, so all of these uh, benefits are are wonderful to help you have a really fantastic cruise experience. I've experienced Medallion. It is fantastic. It's free. It's waterproof. You lose it, we'll replace it. There's just a lot of fantastic benefits for your vacation as well as keeping you safe um, in this COVID-19 environment. So the physical distancing is important. This is our VP of sales, John Cherneski. He's quite the card, but he's a really smart 28 year employee of Princess. And um, he's just showcasing how easy it is to order on demand, either through your smartphone or a portal on the ship or from a crew member who has a device. So again, he's getting his drinks in his stateroom. He's ordering food and it's just being brought to him. He doesn't have to find anybody. He can just order it up. We also have um, had some great partnerships with Discovery Communications and Animal Planet. Uh, that's a sloth you see there on that slide and as part of um, our curated shore excursion program, you can visit in Costa Rica a sloth sanctuary. Try saying that fast three times, sloth sanctuary. This is exclusive to Princess. This is the kind of special um, opportunities we offer our, our guests. Discovery at sea, that's stargazing on a ship where we lower the lights um, on the ship. All the guests are invited to the top deck. We give them flashlights. We have some couple of telescopes up there. We do a fantastic presentation and we learn all about the con uh, constellations and the stars and the planets. So it's very popular and um, that's just a great opportunity in the Caribbean. Now, Princess is a great choice for families people traveling with children of all ages, all the way to teenagers, 
for multi-generational cruising. I experienced um, a family cruise of 20 of us, my parents who were great grandparents with my great uh, grandchildren and everything in between. And we had a fantastic time and my uh, five-year-old granddaughter could not be dragged out of the kids program. So if you're fam traveling with family members, Princess is a great choice. Now for the adults, we have uh, the sanctuary. So this is a program and a uh, location on the ship that is all about pampering you. So uh, it's adults only, it's spa inspired. You can have a, a treatment if you will, you can order off of our wellness menu. Um, if you wanna get a little more active, we offer Zumba and yoga and Tai Chi to get, get your, your uh, self going there. So this is all part of um, helping our, our guests come back new. It's one of our um, goals when we uh, invite guests on board to sail with Princess. On that note, please consider booking into the club class mini suites. Uh, your Expedia consultant can help you um, figure out what, what that's all about. But in a nutshell, it's the premium location of our mini suites on the ship. So the sweet spot right there in the center. You have priority embarkation, disembarkation. You have a lovely uh, wine, in-room wine setup, upgraded amenities. And the most popular feature is our exclusive club class dining, uh, where you have your own private entrance table side preparation, and you're able to offer an exclusive menu. And um, all of this just combines to give an elevated experience. So it's called club class, and uh, it's a very, very popular uh, feature club um, category of the ship, and it sells out pretty quickly. So um, get with your Expedia consultant to find out more about that. Let's launch our video of our newest ship, um, uh, class of ships. This is Discovery Princess and Enchanted. I don't know if you took notice of that um, sky suite all told with the wraparound balcony. It is 1,800 square feet, two bedroom, two bath. It's just, just phenomenal. So um, talk to your Expedia consultant about booking one of those. So Princess um, is known as a destination leader in our industry because of our fleet of ships from our smallest, the Pacific Princess, which is 670 guests, to our most recent larger uh, royal class ships, 
of 3,600 guests. We go all over the world and when we resume cruising, these are all of the destinations that we touch. And we have our 2021 summer program on sale now for Alaska, Europe, Japan, Canada, New England. All of these destinations have fantastic land programs that can be added so that you're not, you're adding that to your cruise experience for an opportunity to explore more in depth the destination that you are sailing in. And we have 21, 22 programs on sale as well. Uh, South America also offers cruise tours uh, to add to the cruise program. Again, all over the world, and we've been sailing over 50 years with a magnificent fleet and we're, we will continue to do so. But Alaska is what we hang our hat on. We've been voted the number one cruise line in Alaska by Travel Week Weekly 16 times, that's an industry publication. And we've been recommended by our travel advisors 19 straight years. So we're very proud of that distinction and more guests choose to cruise to Alaska with Princess than any other line. And that's because of our, our vast experience in this destination over 50 years. It's because we have over 20 uh, cruise tour programs for you to select to create the perfect Alaska cruise experience that you're looking for. Um, and then we also offer that exclusive medallion class experience in Alaska. So all of this combined is why we um, really shine in Alaska. It's also our partnerships again for curated ex excursions and with Discovery and Animal Planet. Um, we have an award-winning program called North to Alaska. An example of that is those puppies in the piazza you see down there. We actually do in Skagway bring puppies, huskies that are training for the Iditarod race onto the ship. Our, our guests and, uh, are able to actually handle the, the puppies and socialize them, so they're all part of that, that experience. Um, and all told, all of this just creates a wonderful um, enriching immersion in Alaska, both on, this, on the ship and on shore. So we call that our cruise tours. Mentioned that there were 20. This is when we pair a seven night cruise with a train component and with one of our lodges that we own and operate and we built. So an Alaska cruise tour, if you're going to go in Alaska, to Alaska, I strongly encourage you to in consider adding the land tour as well. It sails 500 miles further north um, along the Inside Passage. It includes the, the port of calls of Ketchikan, Juneau, and Skagway. It will always have Glacier Bay National Park, a highlight in Alaska, a not to be missed um, experience. And, um, and then you visit one of our lodges, which are positioned in prime locations on beautiful rivers uh, outside Na Denali National Park, and also one positioned for uh, viewing of Denali Mountain. So we have one in Fairbanks, Copper River, um, and we just, it's just a, a unique experience that Princess um, is, is really um, shines in. We just do it better than anybody else. I'm, I'm a little biased, but I think no might agree. So the question I get often is when's the best time to visit Alaska? I've been five times, I wanna go back, and um, it's, it, Every experience is different. So even if you've been before, consider visiting again. Now, during the months of May and June, tend to be a little rainier, uh, more daylight than June and July. Uh, bear viewing or whale watching available throughout the whole season, May through September, but there's highlighted months there with stars. If you wanna try and catch the Northern Lights, there's a chance um, it has happened, and that would be in September. The shoulder season of May and September are when you tend to see the more competitive rates. I will say Alaska in 2021 is doing really well, so I would encourage you not to delay. Get what you want booked. Uh, have your Expedia consultant help you with it because it's it's less inventory this year we have less for next year we have less inventory and so it's a demand issue so you really want to get what you want booked secured earlier than later so we go not just to alaska 
These are uh, some of our uh, Mexico departures. Uh, Cabo San Lucas has an overnight on a five day, that's round trip Los Angeles. And we also offer a 10 day departure um, that touches on La Paz, Loreto and Puerto Vallarta and Cabo as well. So for you in your market, you don't even have to fly. You can actually drive to the Port of LA for our cruises there um, and get right on board and, and take advantage of our um, great program for Mexico. 15 day Hawaiian islands. Now, I love this because we have the spirit of aloha programming on board the ships, much like we do in Alaska, we bring Hawaii onto the ships. Um, you visit four fantastic islands. We have a late night call in Honolulu to offer opportunity to do a, um, see the Pearl Harbor Memorial during the day, maybe take on a beachside luau, um, just explore Waikiki and, and, and the island of Oahu, which is phenomenal. And then as far as what happens on the ship, um, think ukulele classes, uh, lay making um, uh, events, uh, King Kamehameha Festival, that's part of our um, Festival of the Worlds program. So the food, the programs, the entertainment all come onto the ship so you're good and relaxed by the time you hit the islands. Camp Classic Canada in New England. That's a seven day round trip on our Sky Princess, uh, one of our newer ships out of New York. And then we also have the 10 day round trip Quebec um, on the Caribbean Princess, which includes Bar Harbor, which is um, fantastic to visit Acadia National Park, one of the most popular national parks in our country and not to be missed. Um, Boston, Halifax included, and you will never get any finer seafood or ice cream in, um, in the New England states. It's just, it's just fantastic. So we recently returned to Tahiti a couple of years ago by popular demand. So we offer a 10 day. It's on the smaller ship, our Pacific Princess. It's a great destination for a smaller ship. There's um, two overnights on, in a Papillete as part of the program at the, at the pre, at the beginning of the cruise and at the end. There's also an overnight in Bora Bora and then a late night port, port of call in Raiatea. So um, think beautiful clear waters for snorkeling, great sea life, um, lush uh, uh, rainforest and volcanic mountains and white sandy beaches. This is a destination not to be missed, and especially on Princess with our small ship with 200 balconies for great viewing. And then we have Europe, which is an extensive program. So you will need a consultant from Expedia to help you sort it all out. But this one we're focusing on is the 14 day Western Mediterranean and Adriatic medley, going to Italy and Greece, Spain and France. Uh, you can have the opportunity to have a pre and a post visit in two different cities, Rome and Ath Athens. And it's on our brand new Enchanted Princess that we're taking delivery of on September 30th, so we're super excited about that. But um, we, we go all over Europe and there's lots of opportunities there. So please um, pursue that with your consultant of the other opportunities to visit Europe. Now this one's pretty special. It's a 14 to 50 day South America on Discovery Princess. There's an invitation to help escort her to the West Coast. We're excited about this new ship because she is actually going to find, end up homeporting in Los Angeles. And we have not had a brand new princess ship um, in LA in a very long time. Um, and so it, that's gonna be wonderful. So these are overnights ports in Rio de Janeiro and Buenos Aires, Chilean fjords, Falklands, Cape Horn, including Caribbean and Mexico. And then you can book this either the full 50 day or in segments. So you'll have to get individual pricing. The cruise tours that can be added to this for a greater experience is Machu Picchu and Igazu Falls. So this is a highlighted cruise and um, one I put on your bucket list. It's definitely one to consider. Even if you can't do the whole 50 days, maybe one of the segments. World Cruise. This one went on sale a bit ago and it is doing extremely well because I think um, it, there's pent up demand, number one, but also people are just looking for 
they're thinking, you know, if not now, when? When am I going to do some of these things? So it's 111 days either out of Los Angeles or Fort Lauderdale, and choosing your, um, your, should I vote? I'm going to vote in the poll. <laughs> oh, I can't vote. <laughs> Um, that it includes a visit to the World Expo in Dubai, which was postponed in 2020, but they are only postponing it. So they're, they're still keeping the name because it's the first time they've ever done that. It's still going to be called the 2020 World Expo, even though it's going to happen in 2022. So 48 port stops, great opportunity to see the world. And, it, and it's doing really, really well because this the Island Princess is a little less than, a little more than 2,000 guests. And so it has more choices. You're gonna have some sea days. It's, it's port intensive, but on those sea days, you're gonna want entertainment. You're gonna wanna have dining choices. You're gonna have different things that you can do. So um, it was by demand of our experienced world cruisers that said, can you please give us a little bit of a larger ship? Because typically uh, Pacific Princess, our smaller ship had been doing this um, world cruise. So we're excited for Island uh, to, to take over. Thank you so much, uh, Laura, that's, that's awesome. Um, I'm gonna um, take it over from here, but before I, I do start talking, you did get a poll. So um, take that poll in the next few minutes and we'll, we'll go over the results at the it end. Said I could, I said, I, it said I couldn't do it. I, I think it may, may, maybe just the participants are, are able to. Oh, okay, to put all right. Answers. Um, but I did. I want to come back and, and um, talk about the sail. But before I do, I'm gonna I'm gonna torture you with some of my own travel pictures. Uh, oh, when I, I was thinking it. when I was thinking about opening this business uh, six years ago, I decided I was gonna take a, a cruise. And I'd been on cruises before, but I wanted to go to Alaska for the first time and and take Princess for the first time because I knew what a strong partner they were with Expedia. And I did that in the summer of uh, of 2014 before mm -hmm. opening up the store. And mm -hmm. it really was a magical experience. Uh, the excursions were incredible. I landed mm -hmm. on a glacier in Juneau, and you can see that picture there. I met the sled dog puppies. I went zip lining. I did a lot of great things. And the princess experience, the Alaska experience, and, and cruising in general was just so perfect then. And I, I had to decide to open up this business and, and, and start the Expedia here in uh, Arizona. And I'm really glad I did because it was, it's just been so wonderful ever since then. Okay, so now that you know a little bit about my background and story, um, I would invite everyone to take this poll. We'll go over the answers at the end, but you can choose a whole bunch of destinations of where you'd like to go uh, next, including the last one, which is probably my choice, which is, I don't care. <laughs> we didn't I'll go anywhere. Cruise we, Princess Cruise we didn't love, right? No. <laughs> that's right, that's right. But I'm gonna tell everyone now um, about this sale that we have that starts on Thursday. Typically, we do this sale in June every year, but because of COVID, we did, we did delay it a few months to September. But it really is the best offer of the year that you're going to be able to get uh, from Princess across any travel agency, whether you book directly with Princess or, or with, the, uh, with the travel agency, the best possible offer of the year is with Expedia, and it's this week. And I know what the offers are going to be in October and November, and ours is richer than the ones that are coming up after this. So if you have any inkling of taking a Princess Cruise, and you really should take a Princess Cruise next year or in 2022, this is the time that you're going to want 72 to hours. Colossal value. It's back. Our biggest sale of the year. Register in advance to secure your top itinerary for when our three-day sale opens from September 24th to 26th. Whatever your desired corner of the world is, you won't want to miss out on our best savings of the year with the added bonus of value-packed Expedia Extras. Book select four-night or longer sailings at Princess Plus rates and receive free drinks, free gratuities, onboard cash credit, unlimited Wi-Fi, additional savings, and a reduced deposit. Set sail for extraordinary destinations from tropical beaches to polar frontiers. Experience effortless and personalized service in Princess Medallion class and cruise in comfort with enhanced safety measures and flexible cancellations. Contact your local vacation consultants to book your 2021 or even 2022 cruise while quantities last. At Expedia Cruises, we provide every travel option no matter what your dream vacation might be, whether it's by air, land, or sea. So where to next? So Princess has a standing uh, pricing structure, which includes, it's called Princess Plus. And what it includes is a premium beverage package, which is uh, 
alcohol and non-alcoholic drinks, including the tips, it's all included in the, in the fare, unlimited Wi-Fi for every person in the cabin, and your gratuities prepaid on your behalf uh, to the staff on board. And that uh, covers pretty much every cruise they have up to 49 nights. And that's for everyone in the stateroom and all stateroom categories. And that's a, a pretty significant value over buying those things a la carte, which you can do if you want to, but it's really the best value to do Princess Plus. That is available from any travel agency or directly with Princess, and it is the, is the pricing that they have every day in the market. However, during this three-day sale, we're adding uh, a few layers on top of that. So in the video, it mentioned a $700 onboard credit per stateroom, and I'll go over that in a second. But on top of that, Princess's current additional offer is a stateroom location upgrade. And what that means is you can book the least expensive balcony but get the best location available. So you might be booking an obstructed balcony price, but you're gonna get a midship unobstructed balcony uh, category upgrade, assuming there's space available on that sailing. So that's a nice benefit as well. And then on many sailings, we have what we call Expedia Extras. That's typically an onboard credit of anywhere from 50 to $75 per cabin. And then on top of that, there's a coupon booklet, which has uh, up to $900 in savings if you use every single coupon in there, and a reduced uh, deposit, which is refundable. So just to break it down a little bit further, you may ask me, hey, Noam, hey, Laura, how much of that $700 would I get if I'm going to book a sailing? So we have a little chart here which explains it to you. It's based on a couple of different factors. Number one, how long is the cruise that you're taking? The longer the cruise, the larger the onboard credit. The second thing is uh, how, uh, what is the cabin category? So the inside and ocean view, which are the lower price categories that don't have a balcony, get the lower amount. But if you book a balcony, a mini suite or a club class mini suite, which is what I would book if it were me, or a full suite, you would get the larger dollar amount. And then thirdly, it's based on the number of people in your cabin. So for example, if you're gonna book a 15 day cruise and you have uh, two people in the cabin and you're going to book a balcony cabin, that would be the, the far right hand side at the top $250 per person or $500 for two people in a double occupancy. Now the third and fourth person will also get an onboard credit and you can see it maxes out with four people in the cabin uh, at it in a, in a uh, 14 day, a uh, 13 day or longer cruise up to $700. So you kind of have to look at the chart and see how long of the sailing, what cabin category, and how many people are going to be in the room. Hopefully that's clear. Of course, call your Expedia consultant or call us at our store. We can help clarify this if it's if it's not clear to you. So with our sale, there's actually 12 possible layers of value that you can stack on top of one another to really max out and get the best possible deal. So the first six on here come from Princess and are available to everyone, regardless of where you book it. And that's the Princess Plus offer that we talked about, this category upgrade. Captain Circle Savings. If you are a past Princess passenger and you're coming back to Princess, and depending on which sailing you book and how much time there is between now and the departure, there could be an additional Captain Circle Savings. If you are active duty or a, a veteran of the US, Canadian, British, or Australian military, you can get an onboard credit up to $250 on top of all of that. If you own Carnival Corporation stock, Carnival Corporation is the parent company for Princess. If you own their stock, you can get an additional onboard credit. And if you have a future cruise deposit, from a past Princess cruise, you can get an onboard credit on top of that. Those six are the public offers. The next six come from Expedia. So that's the onboard credit up to $700. The group amenity, which we have on most sailings, it's usually 50, but sometimes $75. On certain sailings, we have group rates available, uh, reduced deposit, which is usually $100 per person for a uh, seven day or longer sailing the coupon booklet. And lastly, uh, another exclusive to us is the Expedia Rewards Program, which gives you two points for every dollar that your cruise costs. And those points can be used on Expedia.com for hotel or other bookings that you would make in the future after your cruise. So 12 layers of value. So to, to sort of conclude this, and, and we'll be done in a few seconds, um, the next steps would be to pick which sailing you want to take and when you want to travel next year or in 22. And, and figure out which cabin category you'd like to take. 
And then the next step would be to get in touch with your Expedia consultant or call us at our store. You'll want to have names and birthdays in addition to the date and type of cabin you want. If you have any special requests, if you're going to be booking a group, we can put together a group shelf for you and make sure all your dining is cross-referenced and, and everyone's cabins are close to one another. And then your payment information to get you locked in for a cruise next year. Some of the other items that you will want to consider um, in planning a trip, if, you've, if you're cruise veterans, you probably already know this, but things like travel insurance, uh, hotel, because you never want to fly in the day that the cruise starts, you always want to go on at least the night before. Uh, your flight arrangements, transfers, excursions, and any other details uh, surrounding the trip, we can help you arrange. So I will now go to the poll and let's see if we can pull up the results here. So our number one answer, I don't want to take a guess, our number one answer was, I don't care, I'll cruise anywhere, which is the right answer. We also, <laughs> also awesome. popular, <laughs> also awesome. popular, yeah, is uh, it looks like Canada, New England, uh, Mexico uh, are the next two uh, results mm -hmm. that are the most popular and, you know, also some Alaska and uh, Europe uh, as well. So Princess can take you anywhere. Anywhere there's water, there's a Princess cruise ship nearby. And so we can yes. definitely get you, get you booked on, on Princess uh, to any one of those destinations. Perfect. Okay. So we did have a, a giveaway for a $250 travel certificate. We will draw the, the winner from that and let uh, the winner know tomorrow so that you can book during this during the sale. So thank you to everyone for, for tuning in today. Um, I'm just gonna check and see if we have any questions that we need to address. Uh, we have one comment, gotta have a balcony. Um, I agree. Uh, there's another question, uh, how much stock do you have to own? You have to own 100 shares mm -hmm. of CCL. Carnival Corporation, and then you get an onboard credit depending on how long your cruise is on top of all those other extras. Yes. Stuff. So buy your CCL stock. And I think those are all the, all the questions we have today. Um, thank okay. you everyone for joining us. We really, really appreciate your time tonight. We would love to help plan your next trip. Give your consultants a call over the next couple of days uh, to, to make your arrangements, or you can give us a call at our store. We'll be open uh, the rest of this week as well as this coming Saturday and we would love to help you plan your next adventure. Um, thank you so much, Laura. Really appreciate your time tonight, thank and thank you. you everyone for joining us. Thank you. Hope to welcome everybody on a princess ship soon. Okay, have a good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night. Thank